Hello. Long time no see. It's Saturday and it's meal prep day. I um I I've been doing burgers all this time. So um yeah, I haven't done anything different, so I'm like, well, why bore y'all with the repetitive video every weekend? You know, I mean, the same thing. I'm literally eating the same thing. But I was going through my freezer, and I'm like, oh, you know, I've got this beef, this, you know, ground beef logs, and um, I need to use them up. So <clears throat> that is what I'm doing. So, uh, so this week I'm going to have ground beef instead of, I mean it's all ground beef, but I'll have ground up beef instead of burgers. So I'm doing the crock pot. I was going to mush it out and make a loaf. I do enjoy that, but man, why do it? Why? you know mush it off plus plus i'll be honest the the burgers were a little bit frozen so but i as you can see i have i don't know if you can i have this all wrapped up in cellophane and and i have my um or saran wrap no oh, whatever this stuff's called aluminum foil and i have um my paper in there because my plan was to use this, but it just didn't work out that way. So I put it on low, and this one on low, and it is 11 o'clock. There's so oh, let me put in a little seasoning in it. I'm gonna sprinkle a little salt, a little salt, and it'll get chopped up later. So this stuff will get kind of mushed in with it. Then this is that mixture of. Hang on, I gotta open and see. Um, I always forget adobo all-purpose seasoning and what the heck else oh smoked paprika here it is it fell down smoked paprika so this this is a mixture of those two because I like them so put some in there some in here And then, no, I don't want that. This, I bought this the other day, all-purpose ranch and seasoning. I put that on some butter, and um, uh, and you dipped my pork rinds in there. Holy cow! It was wonderful. Um, and then I also did it with some, um, oh my gosh, cheese, uh, uh, cream cheese, and that was good too. That was too good. Um, I'll update you in a second. This is some garlic powder that I got from, um, I, think, I don't know if it was Dollar Tree or, or uh, might have been um, TJ Maxx. I don't know, wherever I got it. But that is good. I've had garlic salt, but that was the first time I had garlic pepper. Man, it's good. And then this is some of that to everything bagel seasoning. I'm just going to put it on now. Because I put it on every time I eat it. So might as well put it on now. I can add more if I want. Okay, my weight. Um, I've been... How about we move? Hold on just a second. Okay, this is a little bit better. So, um, I... Just to update, I'm still eating roughly two pounds of meat a day. I'm still down 92 pounds. Um, I'm still doing too mad, uh, two meals a day, just cause that's when I'm hungry. It's not anything special. It's not, um, you know, I don't have like a certain window that I'm eating in. I get hungry around 10 and I get hungry around five, five thirty. Um, <clears throat> and I have about a pound of, of, uh, meat each time. Um, my weight is, whole, is maintaining, haven't. Um, I haven't gained and I haven't lost so I am just hanging in there um, 
uh, everything I read, you know, it's normal. Some people uh, don't lose weight for like two or three years. Um, and like I said, I, I'm okay. I mean, yeah, I want to lose weight, but it's funny because I'll go along and lose a bunch of weight and then uh, I hit a, pla a you know, plateau uh, where I maintain for a while. And that is when people say, I can really tell, hey, have you lost more weight? So it's during those, um, those maintaining time frames, those plateaus, as we like to call them, that sometimes your body utilizes that to catch up. I think the, um, you know, during the fat loss stage, <clears throat> your body's so busy working on getting rid of those fat, you know, the, the, I know my understanding is you don't lose fat cells, they just deflate. So um, as you're you know, deflating fat cells and releasing fat from your body, um, you know, it's, go, it's happening. And then it's like during the times when you're not losing weight, that's when uh, your skin is forming, it's reshaping, it's tightening up a little bit. And that's, but for me, each time that is when people have said hey i think you're losing weight or i can tell you're losing weight so um anyway so don't get discouraged i know it's aggravating my scale hasn't moved in probably two or three months and yep it's aggravating it's not what i want but what i know is that i'm feeding myself the right fuel and you know that's all i can ask of my body because I watch people who are, you know, in their 120 pounds, 130 pounds, and they're literally eating the same amount of food as me, the same kinds of food as me. And so <clears throat> it's not that I'm eating too much. So I I'm, I'm just refuse, after losing my hair, um, I refuse to force the process anymore. Um, that's just that's just what I'm doing. I'm not I'm not going to do one meal a day and force my body into losing weight because it just it wasn't healthy for me. It might be healthy for you, might be healthy for someone else, but it just wasn't healthy for my body. It was under too much stress and I wasn't going to do it anymore. So, um anyway, so yeah, so that's that's where I'm at. Um like I said, I'm eating right at two pounds of meat a day. I will say I'm up, I'm up about three pounds. Um, <clears throat> and I know I have, I have partaken in too much processed food lately. Um, I have been eating brats, you know, processed. Um, I've been eating more, um, which it is not perfect. It's not clean carnivore. I've been eating pimento cheese. You know, that's not, that's tech, that's not carnivore and that is processed. Um, and I've been eating some American cheese, the slices. So I know some things that I need to clean up and maybe if I did that, my weight will start moving again. Um, so I, my plan is, you know, I finished up the brats and I've got a few more slices of cheese left and um, I could give it to the dogs and that would be the end of it but you know you know we are human and um so that's that's uh, what i gotta do i gotta get rid of that cheese and um but the brats are gone so <clears throat> anyway that's where i'm at that's what's going on um so i'm but i'm hanging in there still eating what i'm eating still doing what i'm doing nothing has changed um yeah so um, I'll show you what I do with this when I'm done and I will see you in a little bit. And here we have it. Those five back there, that's a pound and a half. And that's what I will eat for my brunch at 10 a.m. And this half pound is what I'll have for my lupper at 5 p.m. So... There we have it. That's my meal prep this week. And um, something I have also done is at supper, if that's not enough, I will um, 
supplement and <clears throat> fry a couple eggs or add some bacon but there you go now you're in the loop for what i'm doing this week